Hey, and welcome back to Animal Crossing for a, a day. Today is a day. Uh, well, yesterday was a day for you, but um, I didn't want to talk about anything political or... I didn't want to talk about current events in yesterday's vlog. Uh, because I know that most people, a lot of people, were avoiding anything political that day. So I decided to hold off. Um, why are you over here? Hello? What is it, Polly? Are you well? I suppose you must be. You wouldn't be walking about in the snow if you felt poorly. Enough idle chit-chat. Do you need something from me? Uh, what's going on? Now, I can't live my entire life in such a small town. It's no small... Now, I can't live my entire life in such a small town. No chance. Too stifling, you know. If I could, I would travel the world and see all the sights there are. How fantastic that would be. Who knows where I might leave peace and move somewhere famous. But don't be too broken up if I do. Wait, but who, who will stare at fish? Who will stare at fish? Alright. So, you can see I put on, put the, uh, little artwork I made yesterday on my door. Uh, you can't really tell what it is at that angle, but it's, it's supposed to be, like, a pond uh, that goes to a path with some cherry blossom trees and also the trans flag. I, I, I don't know. It just, it's what I felt like doing. Anyway. Time to stop the beeping. Lots of letters. I sent off a bunch of my fossils uh, at the after the last recording. Um, so here's a letter from Tom Nook. I don't know what this is. A special shipment of extremely rare items came in today. If you miss this opportunity, you'll never see items this exquisite again. Well, might as well check that out. And one of these letters is from home. My dear Holly, there was a darling bazaar in the town square the other day, and I happened upon this adorable umbrella. Do you want it? Don't stay out in the rain too long. Respect your sinuses. Mom. Ah, uh, alright, and... Museum. Uh, yeah. This is... This is what happens when you send fossils away. I'm not gonna read off the... All of the, uh... Slightly different variations. So I got a dinosaur track. Trilobite. And... Another di another dinosaur track. All right. So I guess I get to sell one and make some quick money. Uh, wait, no. I need present. Need this present. Need this present. And this present. Okay, so, for what I was talking about, um, today I'm going to be, um, talking more about the, the next four years. Um, it's hard, um, being, I had the realization last night that my work as a historian is probably, after these four years, probably going to be stuck looking back at this time that I experienced and trying to make sense of all this. I don't know that I ever will be able to, but I feel like that's going to end up what my life's work is going to be. Focusing on the new never again. So, as I'm recording this, the inauguration is going on. Um, I, I haven't been watching it, not, I, I've been following, I've been following the news, which, um, people have been actually saying is the worst thing to do, because, um, the way ratings in the United States work is you need, you need to have a specific box uh, for your, uh, view, for your, uh, viewing to count towards, uh, ratings, so, um, 
it's not watching it on television doesn't matter, but following it online, they keep track of that. But, honestly, as much as I, I appreciate the idea of hurting Trump's uh, impossibly large ego, uh, I feel like it's more important from my perspective to... I mean, this is a historical event in the way that tragedies are. This isn't... Fortunately, uh, a lot of the times when we've said historical event over the past few years, it's been a good thing. And now... Now it's not, but it's still... I don't know what I'm saying. Um... Yeah, I started this blog as basically, uh... I mean, basically self-care. Making myself do something and... It giving me a place where I can force myself to express my thoughts so I can figure out what those thoughts even are. And... This... This was the reason. Um... It's... I, I don't, it's hard to know how this even happened. I mean, the stuff like this has been building up, but nobody, I know that nobody expected this, uh, nobody expected to wake up to this the day after, um, election night or like me, stay up to this on election night. Uh, but we're here now. And we're going to be here. Whether they like it or not. Well. We're, we're going to keep going no matter what um, the new inaug the new um, the new president and his cabinet and Congress and apparently the whole f***ing federal government uh, seems to want. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, 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 I know I need to talk about this more, but I think, I think for right now I got it out of my system and... Maybe tomorrow there'll be a more structured, um, more structured, um, thought process. For now, um, I think I'm just gonna play some Animal Crossing. Oh, hello! I mostly like snowy days, but don't you hate it when your feet get all wet and frozen, kitty cat? So tell me, Holly, what did you want, kitty cat? Uh, you need any help? Let me think. Oh, I know. I really need someone to take this gray tartan over to Fang. I put it off for too long, and now it needs to be done right away. Can you do it, Giddy Cat? Uh, yeah, I can do it. Well then, please do your best, Giddy Cat. Yeah, so, um, apparently nobody wants to talk to Fang directly. That's, that's fine. Uh, there are definitely some narratives emerging in this town. Um... Nobody wants to deal with Fang, and Monique likes staring at fish. You know, that's, um, variety, like, like Nook said, variety is the spice of life, and, um, AI is the spice of animal cross. Have, have, have your shirt. Oh, crud, what's it gonna take for it to stop snowing? Bombs in my feet are frozen, chomp. Yeah, so, what do you want, cha chomp Delivery. Here you go. <clears throat> Thanks. So what'd you bring me? A shirt. What's this? Would you look at me? I look like a circus clown. Who would ever wear something like this? Well, you, you actually, that, that, that's actually a good look on you. Calm down. Yeah, oh well. Still, now that I've got it, I might as well get some use out of it. You really helped me out. I guess I owe you one. So here, take this furniture. Seriously, cha-chomp! 
I'll say this one last time. Thanks. I have more stuff to do. I'll ask for your help again. Be ready. But you... You're not the one who asked for... Whatever. Alright, time to go to the museum and drop this stuff off. Which is not here. The museum is here. Um... Yeah, so... Blathers! Uh, when you give him some fossils, he'll give you some science knowledge, which I'll probably cut out of future time, future donation times, but I'll keep it in for just this once. Alright, so I need to give you one of the dinosaur tracks. Ooh, I say. Woohoo! A fossilized footprint. Looks like some paleontology is afoot. Hoo hoo hoo! But truly, this is quite an earth-shaking find. I've never seen a specimen that can match it in beauty. The distinct three-toed foot tells us that this is a print of a theropod from perhaps the Jurassic period, eh what? It's impossible to discern anything more specific, but speculation is free and a vital part of paleontology. Imagine a terrible carnivore stalking its prey, its great weight pressing down to the ground, and voila, history! Who? Aren't I the blatherer? I beg your pardon, please. I do hope I didn't put you into a comatose state. You have our deepest, most profound gratitude. Might there be anything else you'd wish to donate? Oh, yeah! Oh, I say, splendid! What no doubt priceless item might you have for us today? And... trial bike. Well, what do we have? Who? A trilobite, if I'm not terribly mistaken. Yes, yes, very nice indeed. This is quite a beautiful specimen as well. Quite. You ought to be congratulated. Well then, where to begin? Trilobites. Ah, yes. Trilobites were hard-shelled, segmented octopods, which populated the Paleozoic Seas long before dinosaurs existed. There were over 15,000 species of known trilobites, and more discovered each year. What, what? This makes them the single most diverse group of extinct organisms ever. Amazing. Truly remarkable, you know. They are, however, extinct. No living descendants whatsoever. The constant perils of nature are quite formidable indeed. Who am I? So sorry, old bean. Allow me to beg your pardon. I've been running off the beak again. I tend to do that. You have our deepest, most profound gratitude. Might there be anything else you wish to donate? Nope. Your support is greatly appreciated. Truly it is. I honestly hope we can count on your continued patronage. Oh, and I should note that, um, I mentioned that I was going to go to Red's shop off screen, and then I didn't really address that. Um, I forgot that Red's shop just sometimes just has random crap in it and no actual artwork in this game. So, there wasn't really anything interesting there at all. So, I didn't bother showing that off. Um. Missed the. Missed the fossil or the gyroid or. Yep. Mail this off. So, uh, let's see who's in the igloo today. Hey, Biscuit! It's so warm in here. Maybe I should just move in, then I never have to go back home, dog. Hey, Holly, now that you're here, let's play a game. Sure! It's the always fun game of you selling me stuff. The rules are extra simple, dog. I'll quote some prices for something you own. When you hear the price you want me to pay, you shout, Stop! I might change my mind, though, so watch out, dog. Alright. I'll buy your sawhorse for 190 bells. Ah, uh, next. It cost me a lot more when I accidentally won this in a game. Be that way, then. Oh no, my chowder. I have to make sure it doesn't get too creamy. Well... Okay. That... Okay. Time to sell some stuff off at uh, next shop, then. Well, let's see what's at the dump first. Because um, I remember there were a bunch of things here that I just walked past. Uh, there's a classic chair. There's mint gingham. There's paper. Another shirt I didn't check. Oh, my, my inventory's full. Big star shirt. Well, yeah, let's, let's see what that looks like. Yep. <laughs> That's something you could do in this game. You can just take take a shirt and drop it into the background. Uh, but that's... 
That's not a background that's good today. There we go. That's a little bit better. Um... Yeah. I, I like the little touches that are in this game that you sort of lose in the in the later ones. Um... But... Yeah, I'm gonna... I'll take care of some stuff in Tom Nook's shop, and then... I don't know what else I need to do, actually. I might I might just call it... Uh, I'm probably just gonna call it here. Um... Yeah, I... I want... My plan for today was to say a little bit more about... About any anything really um uh but i i still don't really have the words to to really describe come on no i put it behind the tree i don't really don't have the words to um to really describe my thoughts well so i think i'm just going to call it here um, I guess I'll see you all tomorrow. Oh, um, tacking this on at the end, uh, we got a new villager. Who's this? Winnie! That's my name. Hey, okay. No reason to beat around the bush. And you're Holly, right? That's your name? Well, super to meet you, Holly. Hey, okay. And, yep. Okay. Ah, uh, that was that conversation. Um, so yeah, uh, like, um, uh, hmm. See, I have the nice iris out thing. Um, so, again, um, I'll see you tomorrow. What?